Hello friends, let us learn how to draw the brainstem sections. For this you need to watch the previous video of ventral brainstem and dorsal brainstem external features. To understand the sections, you must know the section it will be passing through the ventral part and the dorsal part of the brainstem at the same time and you have to correlate the structures accordingly. The first section is at the level of pyramidal decussation. Now let us see how it passes through the ventral part and dorsal part and how the section will look when we draw the cross section. We can follow the gracile and cuneate tubercles and anteriorly there is a pyramidal decussation. In the cross section you can see the pyramidal decussation. Not all the details of this section are drawn. It is just for understanding how the section is drawn and what is the shape of this section. So on the dorsal aspect please correlate gracile and cuneate tubercles. Now the second section is at the level of sensory decussation. It is passing just above the pyramidal decussation and it will also pass through the gracile tubercle and cuneate tubercle. We can also see pyramids ventrally and dorsally. We can see gracile and cuneate tubercles. Again sensory decussation is not shown. Now this is the third section which passes through the olive and at the same time posteriorly it passes through the open part of the medulla. Note here we are having hypoglossal and vagal triangles. First there is a hypoglossal triangle, lateral to it there is vagal triangle. More laterally we are having inferior cerebellar peduncles and on the ventral aspect we are able to see the olive as well as the pyramid. Now coming to the sections of pons, the lower section or the section passing through the lower part of the pons, ventrally it will cut the basilar sulcus and dorsally it will pass through the facial colliculus. Facial colliculus it is due to the motor fibers from the facial nerve nucleus winding around the abdicin nucleus. This is the facial colliculus seen on the dorsal aspect. Next section it passes through the upper part of the pons and on the ventral aspect it will pass through the trigeminal nerve. So what do we expect in this section? We expect the trigeminal nerve nuclei, motor and sensory nuclei. We can also see superior cerebellar and middle cerebellar peduncles. Ventrally you can see the basilar sulcus. Next sections are very easy. They pass through the inferior colliculus and the superior colliculus respectively. First section it passes through the inferior colliculus on the dorsal aspect and ventral aspect it will pass through the crust cerebra. Both these sections will cut the crust cerebri. So both these sections they look similar. One is passing through the inferior colliculus, one is passing through the superior colliculus. You can see on the ventral aspect there is crust cerebri. 
on the dorsal aspect there is inferior colliculus and in the midbrain we can see the cerebral aqueduct the last section it passes through the superior colliculus it looks almost similar to the section passing through the inferior colliculus so i hope now it is clear why the sections particular section of the medulla pons and midbrain they have particular shape because they correspond to the external features of brain stem so practice this sections the very important most important ones are sections of medulla and section through the lower part of pons and superior and inferior colliculus